Over the years of playing the Crash Time games, I have enjoyed my time with the series. Yet, I never fell in love with any of the games, except for one. Crash Time 5 Undercover has gained a spot as one of my top 5 favorite arcade racers of all time. It's a game that I think is highly overlooked, not only in the arcade racing genre, but also in the Crash Time fandom. In this video, I want to take the time to highlight what I think the game does excellently. I will also cover why many Crash Time fans don't like Undercover, as it's an important topic to address. Let's start the Crash Time. Instead of the gun or the explosive drone seen in the previous games, Undercover replaced them with brand new abilities, which includes an EMP, grappling hook, spike strip, oil sprayer, roadblock, shield, and repair kit. This essentially turned the game into a weaponized combat racer that was seemingly inspired by Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010. Since I love this style of vehicular combat, I think it was a really good addition. It increases the absolute chaos and fun factor of the game. Being these abilities are utilized in the career mode, it also fixes a huge issue of the boring campaigns of the previous games. Especially after the mind-numbingly repetitive career of Crash Time 4 The Syndicate, it's such a refreshing change. Undercover decided to focus more on sports and supercars for their vehicle selection. Not only do we get brand new sports cars, but we also get a new super sports class. This means there is a much better variety of higher tier cars you can use. Also, the vehicles are very well designed, with these new models being the absolute peak of the series. I especially love the super sports cars, with the Sabiro being my favorite. There is just something special about these vehicles that really stand out to me. Undercover has the best sound design in the series. Vehicles have great sound mixing and the overall quality of the sounds is much better. The crash sound effects are also really heavy and impactful. It's much more over the top than the previous games, but it fits in nicely with what the Crash Time series is going for. Just take a listen to the sounds in the Syndicate compared to Undercover to hear what I mean. Before I discuss this section, I want to mention that both the Syndicate and Undercover share essentially the same physics besides the vehicle handling. So anything I say here also applies to the Syndicate. Firstly, the cars have weight to them. In the previous games, the cars felt rather lightweight and didn't have a lot of downforce. In Undercover, cars feel much more planted to the ground and have a certain heft to them, especially when they crash. Secondly, the crash physics are absolutely fantastic. You not only get that weight in the crashes, but you also get a really good sense of momentum transfer too. Especially at high speeds, you can get some insane wrecks. These physics are even more exacerbated by the abilities, where the spikes can send you flying, and the oil sends you skidding out of control. It's one of those games that I never get frustrated with when I crash out. Thirdly, the vehicle auto balancing is arguably the best I've seen compared to other games. If the car goes off a jump or gets airtime, the game tries to keep it level using an angle and speed factor. If you surpass a certain angle at a certain speed, this auto balancing will be turned off. This means you can get some excellent rollovers and flips because the game isn't always trying to force your car back on all four wheels. Overall, while the physics aren't perfect, especially with the bouncy off-roading, it's by far my most favorite vehicle physics in an arcade racer. 
While I really love Undercover, it would be unfair not to cover the criticisms that I and others have with the game. Regarding the abilities, this aspect has divided players. Some saw it as the cheap knockoff of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010, and for many Crash Time fans, it was too much of a departure in gameplay from the previous titles. While these abilities can be turned off in the single player races and in multiplayer, you are forced to use them in many story missions. There are also some problems with the maps. Firstly, the Autobahn map is much more barren compared to the previous Autobahn maps. Secondly, there is no city map as that was replaced with the Alps map instead. Thirdly, even though the environments are built to be open worlds, there is no actual free roam mode like in the previous games. There are criticisms with the vehicles as well. The handling isn't the best as I feel it's too oversteery and lethargic at times. It's still good, but I much prefer the handling in the Syndicate as vehicles have better grip and slide out more naturally. You also can't access some of the vehicles that are used in the career mode, like the SWAT Bat and Bullet Stretch Limo. Undercover is also missing some vehicles from the Syndicate, like the Liquidator 600, Hauler, Golf Cart, and Synetic Tours Bus. All in all, these criticisms meant that many Crash Time fans didn't give Undercover a fair shot, which I think is a real shame. It's still a great game despite these negatives, and on PC, you can use mods to fix some of these issues. In this video, I am using Cobra Gamer's Freeride 2.0 mod to add back free roam, and you may spot some vehicles from the Syndicate in my clips. In the end, I think Undercover is highly overlooked, and to a certain extent, I get why. Yet, I have too much love for this game just to accept that. From the abilities that expand the gameplay, gorgeous vehicles, great sound design, and amazing vehicle physics, Crash Time 5 Undercover is a real joy to play. It's certainly not for everyone, but I recommend giving the game a try, as it just might surprise you. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.